He's getting a little cocky, and Bulldog Bob Brown, I'll tell you one thing for certain. I don't know if you've ever battled the Olympic great before, but you got to have some sort of respect for a big man like that. 275 pounds from Portland, Oregon. There's no, uh, no doubt in my mind he's great. Listen, he's been to the Olympics. That's a lot of things that a lot of people can't talk about. He can talk about the Olympics. He was in it. He won. But the Olympics has got nothing to do with professional wrestling. Professional wrestling is a completely different sport and on any given night I could tell you that Ken Patera can get beat and I'm sure Markov is after him, Al Casey is after him, there's a lot of people after him and he'll get his, he'll meet his maker. Well I'll tell you one thing for certain that big battle royal has Ken Patera's name signed on it, 275 pounds, a big addition to that 15 man battle royal. There's one thing you're forgetting Joe, What's there's that? nine other guys in the ring. And ten thousand dollars to boot, and Bulldog Bob Brown, a little conspicuous of uh, your son's absence here this week on the WFWA. Never mind the story about him being in Honolulu, Hawaii, wherever you're saying he's from. As far as I'm concerned, you're running around in circles with that kind of an answer, and you got another big smile on your face. What? Well, I'll tell you what, he's in, uh, he's in a wonderful state of Hawaii where it's 90 degrees. I'm up here in Winnipeg, Canada, where it's 35 below. Uh, who's crazier, me or him? The old uh, adage of father knows best does not necessarily come true in this matter. Well, father knows best in this case because I taught him well. All right, the words of Bulldog Bob Brown right now witnessing some action with me here. The Titan doing battle with Ken Patera, the Olympic great from Portland, Oregon. Tell you, he's been one of my favorites for many years, and I tell you, the fans love him. Of course they love him, you know. Hey, listen, but that doesn't stop him from breaking all the rules and regulations. And right now, that hey, he's getting what's coming to him. Well, the Titan breaking the rules. I don't know if he's uh, doing the right thing here either, but obviously he wasn't successful of trying to have a clean match. And what a stepping stone that would be for him if he could defeat a, a great like Ken Patera. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. He can beat him. Hey, hey, on any given night, Ken Patera can get beat. And I, and I tell you what, I just think that he's overrated. Well, the fans are telling Ken Patera to step on the head of the Titan. And who is Ken Patera to argue with them? The fans love him. Wow, big clothesline there. Bob, he almost knocked the head off the man from no man's land. Well, Patera set him up. You know what's coming here, Bob? His patented own full Nelson hold. And if he applies it and locks those hands, it's all over. I, th I think I can get out of that, too. Well, I don't know, Bob. We'll have to see what happens when the time comes. But that's it. The referee has asked for the belt. Ken Patera, he locked those hands. That almighty full Nelson. You heard the ring announcer there. Listen. The ladies are asking Ken Patera. Five well, he does better than you ever have with listen, the women, listen, Bob. Listen, five minutes and 18 seconds. I think I could beat Ken Patera. Hold on. One second here. Wow, what's going on here? The ladies wanted autographs from, from Ken Patera, a great competitor that he is. He was signing autographs for the fans. Al Casey and Markov jumping all over his back. You saw them coming. I think it's great. Ken all Troy. right. All right. The Baron, Baron Von Raschke coming to the rescue. Holy cow, what action. Let me tell you one thing. They all they did was come in to try to pick up Ken Patera. Wrestling fans, if you think I have a serious look on my face after just what happened, Ken Patera, I hope you got your composure back. I couldn't believe what happened. You were signing autographs, being a great fan favorite. You love to talk to the fans. You're signing autographs. Then what happens? Chris Markoff and Sheik Adnan El Casey, out of nowhere, sneak attack. I don't know up. where those girls are, but like the Baron says, he thinks that I've been had. It was a setup to let those two goons jump me from behind. Is that right, huh? I think that's exactly what happened. If it wasn't for this man right here, I don't know what would have happened. But I'm going to tell you, Mark Kopp and the Sheik Adnan El Casey, it's not over. The war has just begun. You might have got the first battle. But I'll tell you, I hope there's one more battle, and that's me against you, Mark Kopp, or Sheik, or both of you in the ring at the same time with the Baron and myself. Tony, Chris Mark Kopp, you saw what happened on the one.
manager and you that you have an open contract. And I will say, and I will state this, if you do not fight Tim Ventura, believe me what I'm telling you, at this moment, I will judge and jury, you will never wrestle a game for the WF, WA, in any territory. What are you talking about? I never said it, But I got my eyes on my That's corner. Right. I'm going to beat you. And my man, Bad Bar Coffee, is going to beat you. And we're going to destroy you, Patera, and destroy you, Ashke. How you like that? Well, wrestling fans in Bulldog Bob Brown, I'm just catching my breath. Like you mentioned earlier, minus 35 on the outside. But boy, has it been getting hot inside the squared circle tonight. First of all, it was the interference on Ken Patera, something you were laughing about a little earlier on. But you saw what happened. Tony Candelo, the promoter, coming in here. An open contract, and Markoff will never wrestle here in Canada again unless he does battle on the 20th with Ken Patera. All I can tell you is what I what I witnessed here today, I just witnessed that Ken Patera is overrated and he didn't have any competition. I'm glad he's going to get all the competition coming up. And all I can tell you is I want to be here when it happens. I want to be here when the match takes place. Uh, until then, there's nothing I can say. It's just been a wild, wild match. And speaking of wild, wild matches, one will be taking place next week's main event sign right here in the squared circle. Baron Von Raschke to do battle with his old nemesis, Sheik Adnan El Casey. Well, that's going to be a wild, and I'm going to be here to witness it. And all I can tell you is this, Baron Von Reschke better have that car ready because you'll need it. All right, for Bulldog Bob Brown, I'm Joe Aiello. So long, everybody.